In this video I'm going to teach you how to use the ultrasonic distance sensor. For this tutorial you'll need a breadboard, an Arduino, four male to male jumper wires and the ultrasonic sensor. I'm using the HCSR04 and you can see the details in the description of this video. The ultrasonic sensor works pretty neat. It has a transmitting part and a receiver part. The transmitting part sends ultrasonic sound. So what happens is that this part sends the sound and when it bounces on an object the receiving part records the moment when it receives the sound back. So if you measure, want to measure an object which is 5 meters away it doesn't work simply because the receiving part cannot detect the bouncing sound. For short distance it works great and you can use this sensor for object avoidance in your robots for example. It has four pins the voltage pins, the trigger pin, the echo pin and the ground pin. Now I'm going to show you how to build a circuit with this. I'll start by adding my sensor to the breadboard. I do this at the bottom of the breadboard since otherwise all the wires will interfere with the sensor. The first pin I'm going to use is the 5 volt, so connect it to the 5 volt. And the last one is the ground, which I connect from the ground to the fourth pin. In between we have the trigger and the echo pin. So I'm using the green wire for the trigger, which is connected to pin 12. And I'm using pin 8 for the echo pin. It's kind of messy in here but oh, I put it in front because it's easier. We have somewhat more space. So this is the whole circuit. I'm now going to show you the code. So this is the code for our ultrasonic sensor. Um, I've added some comments so you can see how I've connected the pins. Here we define in another way, not as variables, but now we define them as const. Const means there are constants, so they won't change, since the pin is 12 and will stay 12 during the whole program execution. We make it const so the compiler knows it doesn't change. I've added the trigger pin and the echo pin, pin 12 and 8. Two variables, one for the duration, which we're going to calculate, and the distance. I start the cilia monitor at 9600 baud. I set the pin mode for the trigger pin as output and the pin mode for the echo pin as input. First I set the trigger pin to low and wait 2 microseconds to be sure it is low. But then something interesting is going to happen. We're going to set the trigger pin to high so the sensor starts emitting ultrasonic sound and we delay it for 10 microseconds. Then we set it back to low, so the sending stops. So we've emitted ultrasonic sound for 10 seconds. But what we want to know is how long it took for the sound to travel, so when the receiving part of our sensor got the ultrasound back. That's where we use pulse in for. Pulse in listens to the echo pin and measures how long the state has been high. This duration we're going to use to calculate the distance traveled by our uh, ultrasonic sound. So what we do is we take the duration our echo pin was high, so um, this is this duration, we multiply it by the speed of sound and divide it by 2. Why did we do um, this division? Because the sound goes from our sensor to the object and then reflects back. So it travels the distance twice. Then we print the distance on our serial monitor 
and we wait for 100 milliseconds. So I upload the code to my Arduino and when you open the serial monitor you'll see the distance measured. As you can see it's 22 centimeters and when I move my hand in front you see 4, 3, etc. So now you know how to measure the distance with your ultrasonic sensor. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.